The U.S. and China have been embroiled in an ever-growing war of words since the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak. A trade deal agreed between the two countries has also been thrown into disarray, as well as recent Beijing laws on Hong Kong enraging the West. The U.S. president said that the U.S. may pursue a complete decoupling from China. It represents his most forceful statement on the country, but it is not clear what it is in response to. He made the strong statement on Thursday on Twitter. He also refuted earlier comments from U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer, who said a complete decoupling with China is not a reasonable policy option. Trump wrote, It was not Ambassador Lighthizer's fault, yesterday in committee, in that perhaps I didn't make myself clear, but the U.S. certainly does maintain a policy option, under various conditions, of a complete decoupling from China. Lighthizer told a congressional hearing on Wednesday that he believes U.S. supply chain should be brought back from China but he also stressed that the country's economy should remain intertwined. He said, This issue of decoupling is a complicated one. Do I think supply chains should be brought back? Yes. Do I do think they should be brought back from China? Yes. Do I think they should be brought back from everywhere else? Yes. He added, Do I think that you can't sit down and decouple the United States economy from the Chinese economy? No. I think that was a policy option years ago. I don't think it's a policy a reasonable policy option at this point. The tweet follows Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, meeting with Chinese official Yang Jiechi. The meeting comes amid questions over whether the U.S. and China's trade pact remains valid. Pompeo indicated that Yang said China is committed to maintaining agriculture purchases that were crucial to Trump's support of the deal. Trump has continued to ramp up his anti-Beijing rhetoric as the coronavirus pandemic continues to rage on in the U.S. The U.S. has seen the worst of the world's cases and deaths from the virus, with 237,876 and 118,381 respectively. Trump spoke to the Wall Street Journal on Wednesday about the U.S. fraught relationship with China. I think the trade deal is a great deal, but ever since we got hit with the Chinese plague, I feel different toward everything having to do with China, and I've always been hardline on China. The threat follows a tell-all book that claims Trump asked China for help in re-election. Former National Security Advisor, John Bolton, wrote that Trump had told Chinese counterparts to buy more U.S. agricultural products to raise popularity in rural farm states. Trump responded on Twitter, Wacko John Bolton's exceedingly tedious, New York Times, book is made up of lies and fake stories, Saeed all good about me, in print, until the day I fired him a disgruntled boring fool who only wanted to go to war, never had a clue, was ostracized and happily dumped.